can't just give up. You know you're not going to beat me, so why are you even trying? I'm the best at football, and you know that. <sighs> Quiet! I'll show you. I'm going to become the best football player ever. All right, then. Looks like I'll have to teach you a very good lesson. We'll see about that. I'm going to beat you once and for all today, no matter what. Instead of getting better, you're getting worse. Ah, uh, why do I keep losing? This isn't fair. I hate football so much. Maybe football just isn't for you, Mark. Maybe you should go back to playing with Lego toys. Hey, kids, you're still playing? I've been shouting for the past 10 minutes. Your lunch is getting cold. All right, Mom, I'm coming. Just wait. Not enough. I have to think of some way to be Carol. I'm so tired of her always winning Ugh. and bragging about how much better she is than me. Need to make her lose, but how? I have to win. Hmm, how do I become better than her at football? She's good. There must be a way. There has to be. Mark, why are you in such deep thought? What are you thinking about? Nothing, Mom. He's probably thinking of how he should quit football because he's never going to beat me. <laughs> so annoying, Carol. Why are you so annoying? I'll stop irritating you once you actually get good at football. You shouldn't take football so seriously, kids. It's just a game, okay? Also, Mark, I got you a gift. Huh? A gift? For me? Of course. Why do you look so surprised? Your birthday's coming up next week, so I thought I would just buy the gift for you in advance. Here you go. Mom, it's just a pen. Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? I figured since you're so passionate about drawing, I should get you an art tool, like some new stationery or a pen. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Amazing pen, Mom. I'm glad to hear that. I'm really happy that you like it. I'm not really feeling hungry right now, so I think I'm going to go upstairs. So you're not going to finish your breakfast? No, I'm good. But thanks a lot, Mom. The food tasted really nice. And thanks for the pen, too. Oh, what's wrong with him? Did you both have a fight? Nothing happened. I just beat him really badly at football. So he's crying like a sore loser. He always loses. Oh, come on, Carol. You shouldn't tease him so much. It's just a game, Mom. Besides, it's really fun annoying Mark. Annoying your younger sibling is the best thing ever. Looks like you kids are never going to grow up. <laughs> oh well, good luck, I guess. Ah, why do I keep losing? What am I doing wrong? Ah, what to know? Ah, maybe I need just a break. Mom was going to get me a really special gift, but she just got me this ordinary pen. I'm still happy she at least got me a gift, but I was expecting something more, you know? Huh? It says special edition on the pen. This is one of the more expensive ones, isn't it? So mom bought me an exclusive pen? Well, I guess that makes it a bit better, but still, it's just a pen at the end of the day. Why does it say special edition though? What's so special about this pen? Let me try. All right, let's try drawing a football. Huh? 
what's happening? What? Wait a minute. What just happened? D did the football just jump out of the paper? That's that's not possible, right? Is that football real? No way. It's it's real. Wait, let me try again. Let's try drawing up basketball this time. This is crazy. I can't believe this. Where did mom get this pen from? Should I ask her? No. Wait, what if she doesn't know what this pen can do? She probably got the pen without knowing about its powers. If I tell her about what the pen can do, she might try to take the pen away from me. I don't want that to happen. This is awesome. Maybe this is just what I needed. I can use this pen to finally beat Carol in football. Huh, what can I do? I can create literally anything here, as long as I can draw it, right? What if I create a special football that only moves when I kick it? Or what if I draw an invisible wall in front of my goal so that whenever Carol tries to score, the ball bounces off? Hmm, I'm not sure if that'll work. Let's go with the football idea first. This football looks special. Okay, so I imagine that this football should only move when I kick it, but did it actually work? Well, what if it's only the physical drawing that comes to life and not the thoughts or ideas? Well, there's only one way to find out. Why do you seem so excited, Mark? Why did you bring me here? I wanted to show you a magic trick, Mom. I wanted to try to move this football. Try kicking it, grabbing it, pushing it, holding it. Whatever you can. Um, okay. I don't know what your magic trick is going to be about, but now I'm curious. Huh? Ah! What's going on here? Why can't I move the football? Oh my god, there's no way! So it's real! It actually worked! This is magic! This is perfect! That's a very good question, Mom. Why doesn't the ball move? But I'm sorry to say that a true magician never reveals his secrets. Why don't you try lifting the ball? Well, I'm I'm shocked. I'm so curious to how you're doing this. Um, can you move the ball yourself? Of course, of course I can. Wow, oh, uh, that's that's amazing. All right then. Now there's only one more thing left to do. differently this time, Mark. You're usually really angry and anxious whenever you play against me, but you're smiling this time. You seem really confident right now. I feel really bad that I have to crush your confidence once again, but I have to do what I have to do. There's no way you could beat me this time. It's impossible. I've been practicing all day. I'm going to win. I'm sure of it. That's what you always say. But the result never changes. You always lose. Because I'm just better. And I'm always going to be better than you. No matter what. Your overconfidence is the reason you're going to lose today. Just wait and see. I'm going to teach you a very good lesson. <laughs> Who's the winner now? <laughs> That's one goal for me, zero for you. <laughs> What? How did that happen? I tried kicking the football, but it didn't move at all. What is going on?
This is too easy. <laughs> you're up to something, aren't you? You did something to that football. It's obvious. I know you're cheating, Mark. You're obviously cheating. Stop cheating. So when you win, it's because you're better, and when I win, I'm cheating? What kind of logic is that? You just lost, Carol. I'm just better than you. It's as simple as that. If you're so much better than me like you say you are, then let's have another match. All right, sure. We can have as many matches as you want, Carol, but I'm going to win every single time. You had your fun, but now it's my turn. From today onwards, you won't be able to win even a single time. <laughs> we'll see about that. Ready to lose again? You wish. I'm going to get my revenge. All right, it's time to use my pen now. <laughs> you just got worse at football, Carol. Admit it. You're cheating. That's why you're winning. Stop doing that, Mark. I'm going to lose all my respect for you if you don't stop cheating right now. Just get better at the game instead of cheating for crying out loud. Don't you have any shame at all? So now you're accusing me of cheating just because I'm better than you? Wow, I have no words, Carol. I know it hurts, but you'll have to get used to it now. I'm better than you, and that's that. Ah, I hate you, Mark. I don't want to play with you anymore. There's no point in playing against a cheater. <laughs> so you're going to chicken out? We can play a hundred times if you want, but the result is never going to change. Instead of crying about losing and being bad at football, you should focus on getting better and improving your skills. Don't waste time crying about how you keep losing to me. Says the one who always cries whenever I beat him. I'm not the same person I was this morning because practice makes perfect. You won't be able to catch up to me now. Whatever you're doing, it's not fair. I'm going to figure out what's going on. I'll figure it out eventually. Sure, I'll be waiting for as long as you want. figure out what Mark was doing. Why couldn't I move the football? He must have done something to the football, right? He was able to move the football, but not me. There's no way that's possible. He cheated. He cheated for sure. I just need to figure out how. I need to figure out exactly how he did it. Oh, hey, Carol. You look really angry. What happened? Nothing, Mom. Mark just cheated at football so he could beat me. He's a cheater. I'm so mad at him right now. I need to figure out how he did it. Oh, you mean the magic trick that he did with the football? I need to figure out how he did that, too. I wasn't able to move the ball at all. Not even by an inch. But he was able to grab it really easily. <laughs> I wonder how. What? What magic trick? Oh, no. Uh, did I say too much? Was I supposed to say that? <laughs> Uh, Mark didn't tell me to keep it to myself. Mom? What magic trick? What magic trick are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. He just told me to try and move the football. But I wasn't able to. He was able to grab it really easily, but I couldn't. I don't know how he did it. I need to figure it out! Start spying on him in his room, but I'm going to figure it out eventually. 
This pen. This pen is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I can do so many things with this pen. I can create literally anything that I want to do. I can impress all my friends with my magic tricks. I wonder if I could draw a flying cape. Would that work? It's a flying cape! Wow! Oh my gosh! What just happened? Did that did that cape just come out of the paper? How is that possible? He drew the cape on the paper and then it immediately came into the real world when he wanted it to. I've, I've never seen anything like that. Wait a minute. That pen. Isn't that the pen that mom gave him? Does the pen have superpowers? This is Crazy! So this is his secret. He's been using this pen to create things from his drawings. But, but that's impossible. Stuff like that only happens in movies. Am I dreaming? What's going on? Maybe I'm just looking at it the wrong way. Huh, I've been waiting to get new shoes for a while now. I shouldn't get anything that stands out too much because that'll grab too much attention. I could get superpower shoes later, but for now, I just want normal shoes. I want to get the most expensive ones from the Brookhaven Sports Shop, but I can't afford them. Uh, maybe I can draw them to be the correct size and then wear those. No one will notice. Perfect! They look just like the real ones. This pen. This pen could give me anything that I want. I could literally get anything in the world. Ah, this is awesome. So I'm not dreaming after all. That pen actually has superpowers. Where did Mont find that pen from? Should I talk to her about it? Should I talk to Mark about it? He used it to cheat against me in football. That's not fair. I should probably bring it up with him, but that pen. That pen is really dangerous. I wonder if there's a snack to eat in the kitchen. Let me go and check. I mean, I could just draw some ice cream or cake and make it come to life, but... I want to eat some of Mom's food too, you know? Oh, he's going to see me. I need to run away. this magic pen, I've become the most popular guy in my school. I can impress anyone with my magic tricks, and it's easier than ever to get girls. This is the best life I could have ever imagined. I never knew something like this was going to happen to me. Forget about beating Carol in football. I can beat her in anything now. Could you spare some time to see one of my magic tricks? Oh my gosh, Mark is showing me a magic trick! Of course, show me as many a times as you want. Please, Mark, please! How do you do stuff like that? You can literally make anything happen! Wait, can you give me chocolate out of thin air? Of course. It's as easy as breathing for me. Here you go, beautiful. Wow, so romantic. <laughs> do you? Do you want to sit with me in the next math class? I would love that. Of course, I would love that too. The class starts in 10 minutes, doesn't it? Yes, 10 minutes. Um, I'll see you there then. It's cute how shy she is. I like it. He's having a lot of fun with that pen, isn't he? What a jerk. He's using it to cheat his way into popularity. He used it to cheat against me in football. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. 
Oh, hey, Carol. What's the matter? You look like you just saw a ghost. Hope you're not feeling too jealous. I can understand where you're coming from, but jealousy is never a good feeling to have. Mark, you need to stop what you're doing. It might feel really nice right now with all the fame and girls that you're getting in school, but trust me, if you're not careful with that pen, it's all going to backfire on you. Wait a minute. Did she... Did she just say pen? She knows about the pen? But how? How does she know? Huh? Um, what pen? Oh, what pen? I don't know what you're talking about. Stop pretending, Mark. It's pointless. I saw you use that pen in your room. I've seen it several times. Maybe you should have actually listened to Mom and kept her door closed, but you never did. I know what that pen can do. You can bring your drawings to life, right? So you were playing spying on me in my room? Wow. Ugh, what a sister. So nice. I love you so much, Carol. What would I do without you? You cheated when we were playing football. What else did you expect me to do? I had to figure out what you did. Didn't you feel ashamed at all after cheating? Didn't you feel bad at all? Of course I didn't. I just wanted to win, that's all. Winning is the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter how you win or how you become popular. It's just the result that matters. I beat you, and that's that, Carol. I can't believe you actually believe that, Mark. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell Mom about that pen when we get home. What? Have you lost your mind? You can't. You can't tell Mom. Don't tell her. I have no choice. That pen is really dangerous, and you're definitely not responsible enough to be using it. I'm not responsible either. In fact, no one is. That pen can give you anything you want in the world. No one will be able to resist the temptation to use it for something harmful. A pen like that is extremely dangerous. I think we should throw it away. Throw it away? This is my pen, Carol. Do you understand that? You have no right to do anything with it. I'm the one that decides what I do with this pen and what happens to it. Mom got it for me as a birthday present. It doesn't matter. I'm going to tell Mom about the pen tonight, and there's nothing you can do about it. My life is going so well right now. I won't let her ruin it. I won't let her ruin my life again. She's just jealous of me. That's all. She's just jealous that I'm so much more popular than her in school now and that she can't beat me in football anymore. I won't let her tell mom. I have to do something. Come on. Think. 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 I need to seriously test this pen now. Anything I draw can come to life, right? Literally anything. Is there any way I can remove Carol's memories of her seeing me use the pen? No, that's not possible. How am I supposed to draw memories? I don't know how to do that. Well, maybe if I could draw a visual representation of that memory and then draw a cross on it. Hmm, could that work? It's a stretch, but I could try. It might actually work. saw me using the pen in my room, right? So I could draw myself sitting in my room using my pen, then I could show her spying on me. If I do that, then I can draw her memory. After I'm done, I can put a cross over it and think that can work. I need to try. Huh, I've never used this pen like this, never tested it in this way before, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh well, there's only one way to find out, but one thing's for sure, I'll do whatever it takes to make sure Carol doesn't tell mom about the pen. I can't let her do that. Wow, my drawings have never glowed like that before. That's new. Maybe it's because this drawing required a lot more work to come to reality. I guess I pushed the limits of the pen. Anyway, now I need to find out whether it actually worked or not. I need to find Carol. Where is she? Oh, 
All right, there she is. I'm sure she forgot it. I'm sure she did. The drawing wouldn't have started glowing if it didn't work. It had to have worked. I just need to wait for her to come outside. What am I going to ask her, though? I don't want to sound suspicious. I need to be careful. Hey, Mark. There you are. I thought we were both going to sit together during math class, but you never came. Where were you? I'm a bit busy right now, Stacy. I'm not interested in talking to you. Uh, can we have this conversation later? Um, all right. I'm sorry. Are you waiting for someone? Uh, yes, I am. It's none of your business who. Just leave me alone right now. All right. I'm sorry. What? When is this stupid class going to end? Bell rang too. Ugh. Finally! All right, now I'm gonna go find out if it worked. Hey, Carol, how was class today? I've been uh, meaning to talk to you about something. And do you have a few minutes to spare? Um, I'm sorry, but I think you're mistaking me for someone else. Huh? Oh, what do you mean? Have we met before? I think you're confusing me for someone else. Have we met before? What do you mean, Carol? I'm your brother. I'm sorry, but you're definitely confusing me for someone else. I don't have a brother. I'm an only child. My god, what, what have I done? Did I just remove all her memories of me? But but that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, oh what have I done? This is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay. Um, I have somewhere to be now. I hope you find the person that you're looking for. Carol, wait, 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 wait. Uh, listen, do you seriously not remember me? You don't know who I am? No, I don't. Is this some sort of prank? I don't remember meeting you. I'm sorry if that offends you. Okay, 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 wait. I'll show you some pictures of us together. How about that? What on earth is going on? This is... This is so scary. This is creeping me out. I can't find any pictures of me and Carol together. All the pictures are gone. They're just... They just disappeared. Listen, I really have to go now. If you have some pictures of both of us together, you can show them to me later. Maybe we have met before and I just can't remember you. If you're trying to prank me, then you're doing a really terrible job at it. All right, see ya. No, 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 no. What do I do now? What am I going to tell mom? She doesn't remember me at all. Wait a minute, does mom remember me? She does, right? She has to. Mom wasn't in the drawing, so she should remember me. I have to go home right now. Mom? Mom? Mom, where are you? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Mark, what, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in school? Uh, is everything all right? No, oh, Mom, nothing's all right. Everything's going wrong. Something really, really bad happened, and I don't know what to do. It's, it's about Carol. Carol? What happened to her? Is she all right? Where is she? Carol lost her memories of me. She doesn't remember who I am. I don't know if she remembers you, but she definitely doesn't remember anything about me. What? What do you mean she doesn't remember you? What, what happened to her? Did she get injured? I have a lot of things to explain to you, but it's going to be really hard to believe. I want you to listen to me very, very carefully. It's it's about that pen you gave me. The pen. The pen has superpowers. A pen? Uh, are you talking about the pen that it gave you? What do you mean it has superpowers? Whatever I draw with that pen, it becomes real. Remember when I showed you that football that you weren't able to move? I made that football myself using my pen. I drew the football on a piece of paper with a pen that you gifted me for my birthday. It came to life. After that, I started noticing that I could create anything that I wanted using my pen. And it would become real. I, I accidentally... I accidentally used it against Carol. Used it against Carol? She saw me using the pen and 
She said that she was going to tell you about it so that you could throw away the pen or take it away from me. I wanted to stop her, so I tried to remove her memories of seeing me use the pen, but accidentally removed all of her memories with me. Ugh, and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> what have you done? No, I didn't mean for this to happen. You're the one who gave me the pen, Mom. Oh, where did you get that pen from? Do you remember? Did you know what the pen had superpowers? Of course I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? I thought it was just a normal pen. Why would I give you a pen with superpowers? I didn't even know a pen like that even existed. Come on. Mom, we need to find out where you got that pen from. We might be able to find more answers if we go to the place that made the pen. If not, then... Carol may never get her memories back. She's never going to remember me ever again. And she might not remember you too. I remember where I got the pen from. Oh gosh, okay. we should go there as soon as possible. Wait, can I see the pen for myself first? You said the pen can bring any drawing to life, right? I want to see it for myself. All right, fine. I'll show you. I can't believe my eyes. How? How is this even possible? This is crazy. I don't know how it's possible. I accidentally realized this when I was testing out the pen and I couldn't believe it. So you used this pen to remove all of Carol's memories of you? How could you? I didn't do it intentionally, Mom. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. I this pen completely changed my life for the better. I went from being a nerdy antisocial kid to being the most popular guy in high school. I was getting so many girls, you have no idea. I was having the best time of my life, but Carol was right. Carol warned me that this could all go downhill. She warned me that this pen was dangerous and I could accidentally harm someone with it. Really sorry, Mom, I really am. Being angry at each other is not going to solve anything. We need to meet Carol as soon as possible and then go to the place where I got this pen from. remember who I am? Of course I do, Mom. What kind of a question is that? You're my mom. Why would I not remember you? I'm your brother. Why would you not remember me? Carol, something really terrible happened, and I can't explain everything to you right now, but you lost your memories of your brother. Mark is actually your brother. You just don't remember it. Mom, if you're trying to play a prank on me, you should stop. I'm not playing a prank. I mean it. Mark is your brother. Then, then why don't I remember him? Why don't I remember anything about him? It's a long story, but he used a magic pen to remove your memories. A magic pen to remove my memories? Okay, that's enough, Mom. Can we just go back home now? You could try this prank on someone else. Carol, I'm serious. Can you please just believe me? I know it's really hard to believe. I know it all sounds really stupid, but I'm your mom. I want you to trust me. Um, all right, Mom. I, I trust you. We need to go to the store which I got this pen. We need to figure out exactly what's going on and how to bring your memories back. so confused. 
This is where I got the pen from. Tom has a lot of explaining to do. Who is this Tom guy? Is he the guy that gave you the pen? Is he one of our relatives? <laughs> I'm quite disappointed that you don't know me, kids. I am the best artist in Brookhaven, after all. Wait, is that Tom Blank? He's a world-famous artist. Mom, you never told us you were friends with Tom Blank. Why did you ever tell us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You never asked. Seriously, Mom? So this is where you got the pen from. Did the pen belong to Mr. Tom? <laughs> oh, please, don't call me Mr. Tom. Just Tom is fine. Tom, you have a lot of explaining to do. That pen you gave me has superpowers, doesn't it? Well, of course it does. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you that the pen can activate its superpowers depending on who uses it. If the user of the pen has a really strong reason to use its abilities, the powers will activate. The pen also chooses the user. I thought that all was just a bunch of nonsense. I didn't know you were being serious. Well then, isn't that your fault? I gave you the warning and you didn't take it seriously. It's not my fault you didn't listen to me. Why did you even have a pen like that in the first place? Why did you give it to me? You knew it could be really dangerous! You said you wanted to give your son a very special gift. That's why you wanted to make your son's birthday special. So I thought I could help by giving him the best and most very special pen that I have. So, I got gifted a pen from the most famous artist in Brookhaven, and the pen has superpowers too? <laughs> Best gift ever! We don't have time to discuss nonsense, Tom. Something really terrible happened. Mark accidentally used the pen to remove all of Carol's memories of him. And Carol doesn't remember Mark at all, even though he's her brother! Wha what? Mark used the pen to remove Carol's memories? Wow, I've never thought of using the pen like that before. You have quite a creative mind, Mark, I'll give you that. It's actually quite impressive that you were able to come up with that. I can see why the pen chose you. I'm not sure you understand how much talent and skill it takes to use my pen to its full potential. I've never seen anyone use the pen like you. Jim Tom, this is extremely serious. We need to bring Carol's memories back no matter what. How do we do that? Is there any way we can reverse the effects of the pen? That's a very difficult question to answer. I've never tried to reverse the creations of the pen because I've never used it that way. I never used it for extreme cases like removing memories or hurting other people. I just... Well, I use it for my artwork to make drawing things easier. The pen can be very dangerous if used for the wrong thing, so I always fight my temptations. So is there no way for Carol to get her memories back with me? Is she never going to remember me? I'm going to be a stranger for her for the rest of my life. First, please, let's calm down. Hold your horses, kid. I didn't say that, did I? I said it's a difficult question to answer, but I never said anything about it being impossible. There... Uh, might be a way. There is a way. Then tell us, how do we bring Carol's memories back? I'll tell you later. I just feel really sleepy right now. Tom, take this seriously. My daughter lost her memories for crying out loud. We need to find a solution to this mess. If you know how we can reverse the effects of the pen, then you need to tell us right now. <sighs> it's possible, but it's not going to be easy. If you try to reverse what the pen did, then the pen will fight back which would affect the fabric of reality. Normally, you would be able to add memories to a brain using the pen pretty easily. You just need to draw the memory and indicate that you want it to go into her brain. However, since the memories you want to add have already been removed, the pen will fight back if you try to add them back. One law of using the pen is that you shouldn't try to reverse what you used it for. You're really confusing me right now. Why don't we just destroy the pen? If we destroy the pen, we destroy its creations, right? 
That's not how it works, Mark. If you destroy the pen, then bringing Carol's memories will absolutely be impossible. We need the pen to bring her memories back. There is no fixed or textbook way to do this, so it's time to improvise. The only solution I can think of is using a different pen with the same superpowers. Since the pen is different, it won't try to fight back against its effects. So you have multiple pens with superpowers like that. That's amazing. That solves all our problems, right? You have more super pens. That there is the problem, Susan. I don't. That was the only pen I had. We'll have to make a new one. And making a new super pen is extremely dangerous and difficult. Why is it difficult? Can't I just use my current super pen to draw another one and make it come to life? Another rule of using the pen that you should know is that the pen should never draw itself. You can technically do it, but it would have dire consequences. We don't know exactly what would happen, but it would affect our world in a terrible way. We must think of another way. Anymore. Tom isn't taking us seriously. He's trying to fall asleep and ignore us. And none of his methods are working either. That's it. I have to take matters into my own hands. He said that we just need to use a different super pen, right? He doesn't have an extra super pen, but I can just make one myself. Okay, all I need to do is draw the pen with superpowers on a piece of paper. strong glow. That was even stronger than when I used the pen to remove Carol's memories. Anyways, I did it. It was that simple. I have two super pens now. Wait, I should test it out first. I shouldn't come to conclusions so fast. Alright, so now I just need to bring Carol's memories back. I need to make sure I don't let Tom see this because he specifically told me not to use this method. I also need to be extra careful because I ended up removing all of Carol's memories of me last time. I need to make the drawing really detailed. Was extra careful this time. I'm going out now. I'm hungry. Uh, Mom, something is happening. What do you mean? Is everything all right? doesn't look right. Why is the ground shaking? Is this an earthquake? No, 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 no. Susan, where is your son? Where is he? I don't know. I, I hope he's all right. Why do you want to see him? Because he messed up. Mark made a terrible mistake. Ah, oh, kids these days. This is why I don't have kids. They never learn. Carol, I just... Oh my god, what's going on? Mark, did you draw a new super pen? Tell me, look me in the eye and tell me honestly. I, um, uh, maybe? Mark, I told you not to do that. Are you crazy? Just made everything a hundred times worse. 
How was I supposed to know that Earthquake was going to pop out of nowhere? I told you it would affect the fabric of reality. What do you think that means? And look at your sister, look at what's happening to her! <laughs> My head hurts so much! I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm losing all my memories. Oh no, this is all my fault. I made everything even worse than it was before. I'm so sorry, Carol. Just wanted you to remember me again. Despite all the fights that we had, you're still my sister at the end of the day, and I still love you. I didn't want you to forget me. I really wanted you to remember me again. I made a mistake. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have cheated in football. I promise I'll never do it again. You can beat me as many times as you want. Stop talking like it's the end of the world. There must be a solution, right? There's only one thing we can do now. We must destroy both pens. Pen that Mark got from you, and the pen that he just made. We need to destroy them both at once. Ah! All right, how do we do that? Only I can destroy them. I need to draw a large X on an A4 sheet of paper and write the number two next to it, using the pens that we have. Ma, can you bring the pens to me ASAP? Please hurry up. We don't have much time. All right, we must act quickly. stopped, right? Does that mean it worked? We stopped a large-scale disaster that would have occurred, but I don't know how Carol's doing. If we're lucky, then she hasn't lost any of her memories. If we're unlucky, well then... What, what Tom? Then what? We'll have to find that out, Mark. Carol, are you alright? Does your head still hurt? Do you remember me? so weird. All the memories just came back so suddenly. This is... This is overwhelming. Oh, thank God. I was so worried. I didn't know what would happen to you. I'm sorry for everything. I'm so sorry. You should be. This was all because of you. I'd expect nothing less from you. I'm never using a pen again, and I'll never let you use it either, Mark. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Well, you definitely messed up big time, but at least now I know that you love me a lot. You said it yourself. What? I never said that. You must be dreaming. I heard it, Mark. I remember it very clearly. If you're expecting a I love you too, you're not going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> but wait! I don't get it. So destroying the pens worked, right? Why didn't we just do that from the beginning? We could have destroyed the pen. I don't understand, Mark. You have no idea. Destroying the pen was the very last resort. The only reason Carol is even alive right now is because we got lucky. It's pure luck and that's it. Destroying the pen is forbidden and it causes unexpected damage to our reality. Nothing bad has happened for now, but something is definitely going to happen again. It's not over yet. But... That sounds like a problem for another day. I really need to sleep, though. Oh, good night. Oh, now you can leave the library. Bye-bye. I don't think he's ever going to change. 